What you making DIYers? It's Walker with DIY.life and in this episode I'm going to show you guys how to make custom vinyl stickers. We're making some vinyl stickers. First thing you want to think about, well first off let's talk about our hardware here. So this is the Silhouette SD cutter. It's over a decade old. I've had it forever. Um, the most popular one out these days is the Cricut. I don't know what version they're up to. Um, they are pretty affordable and not very expensive and they all kind of do a lot of the same kind of things. So I think I actually have a Cricut somewhere as well. But I kind of like this cutter because it's just pretty basic and it does what I need it to do, especially for the vinyl stickers. I have the original software that came with this cutter. It's PC only and it's pretty archaic and I don't like it and luckily I noticed that there is a PC and Mac version of the it's called Silhouette Studio and it's uh, downloadable for free just search up Silhouette Studio go to Silhouette America and you can download the PC or Mac version uh, there's a free version that you can get started with that we'll be using today um, so the Silhouette Studio software, the 4.5, I've played around with it a little bit so far. I really like it. It's a lot better than the stuff that came with the cutter. So I'm impressed with that. And it seems to work really well with this cutter. So awesome. Um, the one thing you want to think about when you're selecting an image or something to cut out as a vinyl sticker is you want to make sure that it's super high contrasty. It's either white or black. Like, like a graphic like this would be good because it's you know clearly white in an area and clearly not white. Uh, something like a photograph is a little bit trickier uh, and there's ways we can, we can turn it into something that we can make a sticker out of and I'll show you those steps right now. But ideally if you're, if you're trying to make like a logo or, or something like that, you wanna make sure you find something that's like black and white. Uh, a lot of those a lot of the terms are like called bitmapped or vector. Vector is a big one. Um, a bitmap or a raster image is based off of pixels and resolution. The more pixels you have, the higher the resolution, the sharper the image appears. Um, so versus vector, which is actually a completely different animal. It's mathematics based. It's like line art and curves and it's resolution independent, which means you can scale it up as big as you want and it retains the same crisp edge and quality. And it's, um, it's really a much more, it, it has its place for, uh, it doesn't work so well for photographs, for photographic type imagery. It's more like we're talking about this kind of stuff where it's like white and black and it can be, a, there's a clear line between the two. Uh, vector files really shine uh, in those situations versus uh, photographs and, and, and things like that, which are better in the bitmap world. But we'll learn, uh, I'll show you in just a second here how to go from, how to play uh, between those two formats. Common vector formats you're gonna find out there are gonna be .pdf, um, dot svg which i believe stands for scalable vector graphic uh, dot dxf which is the file format that the silhouette studio likes dot eps and dot ai is an illustrator format adobe illustrator so look for those if you're searching for logos, if you're searching for graphics out there to cut and you want to turn those into stickers, look and you're searching for vector files, search for, you know, search for Mac logo PDF or Mac logo vector or Mac logo SVG or something like that. Um, I just use Mac as an example, but whatever, you know, you're searching for. Um, that way you can already start with a you don't have to do the work of like tracing it or um 
or using Studio to trace it, but I'll show you how to do that too. Okay, if you're not able to find a vector version of your artwork, you can always take a non-vector and create, turn it into vector. There's basically two ways that I commonly use to make that happen. If you have a preferred method of turning bitmaps into vectors, please leave me a comment below and let me know how you, how you do it, how you like to do it. I'll show you a couple different ways that I, I do it here. One of them requires um, Adobe Creative Cloud, and then the other one just uses the Silhouette Studio. Let's say we want to, let's say we want to make a sticker of Lionel Richie here, and specifically the Dancing on the Ceiling album cover, uh, which is a favorite of mine. He just looks like a Mac Daddy there. So what we'll do is you do a, a Google image search and make sure you turn on, under the tools section, make sure you set the size to large. So we're, you know, the larger, the better, basically. The more pixels you have to work with, the better. So we'll go ahead and right click on this. We'll do a save image as, and we'll just save off this image. I've already saved it off. Go ahead and open it up in something like Photoshop. Whoops, I moved it. And you could probably do this with GIMP. GIMP is a free photo editing software, much like Photoshop. In fact, it's so similar to Photoshop. A lot of the, the interface is nearly identical and a lot of the settings and things I'm gonna be showing you here are exactly in the same place in GIMP. So. Uh, so what do we want to do? One thing we want to do is we want to remove a lot of this um, text out of here. Uh, so one way we can do that is we could use the clone stamp tool. This is kind of an old school way to do it, where you sample, you know, a spot of a spot, and then you start painting, and that'll kind of get rid of. Oh, now he's got a lump in his hair. making it worse. Let's zoom in here. Well, I think that's actually how his hair is. You can just paint out using the clone stamp tool. You can paint out the, the letters and such, but you know, if we, if we want to get tricky, we can use the, the new AI features of, of Photoshop. We can make a selection around what we want to get rid of. And then using our fill, we can set it to content aware. And it'll look at look at the picture and then it'll fill what it'll fill that the areas with what it thinks should be there. Okay, so now that we have the text removed, um, Oh, one of the new features of Photoshop, which I want, which I really like, is this object selection tool. So we can select the subject. It'll put a selection around him. We can inverse that selection and we can cut it out. So it's just white. Now what we want to do is we want to convert this image into grayscale choose discard and we'll apply a levels. We'll try to get this thing as, as much just black and just white as possible. So we'll adjust, we'll crush the whites here. We'll crush the blacks a little bit. Try to get this, we're tr basically trying to remove, remove all the grays. And that's probably close enough. You don't want to lose important details. Um, and I know for a fact that we probably don't need any of this. So we'll cut that out. We'll just focus. We'll just focus on him on the head here. So we'll crop down to something like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into bitmap mode. And we'll set this to 50% threshold. 
We can even set this to a little bit higher. We can do 100 pixels per inch or something. And then what that's going to give us is that's going to give us a pure white and black version of the image. Now we can save this as like a PNG file. Go ahead and hit save. Choose large file. And then in Illustrator, you can bring that, you can open up that image in Illustrator. And then using Illustrator's trace tools, actually toolbars, advanced. Tracing. Okay. So let's trace this object. Let's see. Under here, under image, so you got to select it first, and then under image trace, I'll go away. Under image trace, we'll choose. black and white logo. And there, it's given us a nice, and then what you're going to want to do is once you've traced it, uh, you're going to want to expand it. And from here, you can zoom in and you can clean up any bits that you want to get rid of. Although this all looks pretty good. It's nice and clean. You may want to get rid of that little floater. Actually, one thing we can one thing it does is it actually if you notice it it actually creates a white object. So we want to do um, we want to do select same fill color and you want to hit delete. So now we're just left with the black and we're not, we don't have the white background anymore. And so now I would actually recommend that you save this as a PDF or in some vector format. We'll do, we'll do a PDF here, save it on our computer and let's lose this funky file name. We'll call it Lionel Lionel R, and we'll choose PDF, Adobe PDF as the file format, hit save, and in the options, we'll just choose Illustrator default. So we'll hit save PDF. Now with that saved, you wanna select everything, and then you wanna go file, export as, and from the drop down, you want to choose DXF right here. So we'll save this as a DXF file. Doesn't matter, the settings here don't seem to have much difference, so I'll just leave them as is. And I think that that, I think that that worked. Let's hide the bar. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's minimize that this anymore. And now let's open up Silhouette Studio. Once you're in Su Silhouette Studio, you can simply choose Open, locate that DXF file, hit OK, and boom, it loads right in to Silhouette Studio. And you can set the sizing when you select the object, it tells you the size of the object here. This is six by nine. This is pretty big. Um, I actually want to try and put it on the back of my Mac here. I want I want to try and make his face, you know, the light up part of the apple. And the apple, I measured the apple is about, whoopsie. You're going to want to make sure you select everything. Control A or Command A and scale it down. 
scale him down to one and a half. We'll go, we'll go inch and three quarters, something like that. Uh, maybe we should do, let's do two inches. Anyway, now I can just send this to the cutter and off we go. The other way is if you don't have Illustrator or Photoshop, um, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna need to get that image high contrast somehow. So again, I would look at that GIMP software to achieve that, it's free. Once you have the, so we'll create, we'll hit open here. We'll open our PNG that we saved off earlier. And Silhouette Studio has a trace feature here. You just go into the trace module, you select the trace area, and real quick, Silhouette Studio performs the trace and you hit trace. And then you can delete the bitmap and now we're left with a vector version of good old Lionel here. However, if we zoom in, we can see that Silhouette Studio retains a lot more detail than the Illustrator Trace does. It puts all these little circles in here and it has, it has all these little floating bits. And you can leave them, they're not gonna hurt anything, but it may take a little while it may take a long time for the cutter to cut out all those little tiny circles and floaties. And they're probably, you're probably just going to ignore them anyways when you're making your, when you're, you know, cutting out your vinyl sticker. So I would recommend at this point that you double click on the artwork. You go in and you just start selecting, you know, floating sections here and just go ahead and hit the delete and you can delete out any, any bits that are floating. Here's one, whoopsie. Here's one, just hit delete and you can get rid of all. So we can go ahead and close this. Otherwise, this one again is ready to send to the printer, to the cutter. Another, let's, let's, let's take a look at a, a SVC uh, file I found on the internet. Um, in Illustrator, we'll go ahead and close out Lionel Richie here. I downloaded a logo for the San Diego FC, which is the newest MLS newest team to the MLS franchise has been awarded to San Diego here. And let's say we want to make a vinyl sticker of the logo here. Um, what I would do is I would remove the background by clicking it, hitting delete. Maybe we'll remove this outer. Eh, let's keep that. It's kind of nice but we're gonna control, we're gonna select everything and let's give it a, let's give it a fill of black like that. Now what we can do is we can once again, just export this as a DXF file, just like we did earlier. And then we can bring that into, I'm gonna close out of Illustrator cause I'm done. Don't save. So in studio, we can go file open and I'll open up the DXF of, and there we have the DXF of the logo, the team logo, the crest. So we'll control A, select everything, and we'll scale this down a little bit. 
we'll print out Lionel and we'll print out this one at the same time. So what we can do is we can copy, go over to Lionel, paste, move this one over. So we've got Lionel, we've got the San Diego FC logo, and we're gonna go ahead and send that to the printer. First thing you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to turn on the printer. I gotta unplug my mouse. I'm gonna plug in the printer, or the cutter, I guess you should say, we should say. And then instantly it says that the silhouette has been detected. We choose OK. Uh, let's go back to design. And it automatically set our, our sizing here. these two real close, select everything, let's get it centered. Okay, now that we've got it ready to send to the cutter, we just need to load in our vinyl media. And let's go ahead and do, do it in black. We've got some black vinyl here. And this, this is the this is our oh I forget what they call this, but it's basically a cutting circuit. It's got a little it's kind of tacky. It's a little sticky, and it's basically how you send stuff through the cutter. So what we'll do is we'll put this vinyl on here, and. Since I've done it, I've used this so many times, the, st the stickiness has kind of is waned a little bit. So I may need to tape this down a little bit. Got some masking tape here. We can tape it so that it doesn't move around on us. So we'll just tape along the top here. And we'll tape along the bottom so it stays put. You don't want it shifting on you. Actually, we can, we can probably get rid of some of this vinyl. We don't need quite this much. Sometimes you gotta. Okay, so now that we have our vinyl material. So now, now that we have our vinyl material taped down here to the cutting surface, uh, we're gonna go ahead and you look at these, the cutter has these two lines here. You basically just put it in, in between those two lines and you push the feed button and it feeds the media in there. Once it's fed into the cutter, we, go into Silhouette Studio and we say send vinyl a little short. So we'll go ahead and hit send here and we'll press the send button. And that should send the artwork right to the cutter and it'll start cutting it out. You can see the cutter working. All right, 
that finished up, we hit the enter button and it pops it out. Ooh, we cut it pretty close, but it looks good. You can see it got a little close here to the tape, but other than that, everything looks good. So let's go ahead and remove the vinyl from the cutting surface. Let's separate, separate our two stickers real quick. We'll do that one later. Let's move this cutter out of the way. Now the next step is removing all of the vinyl that you don't want in the sticker. And the outside of the sticker. By grabbing it. And you can see here, you don't want to lose You want to try not to lose his eyes and such. Hmm. The eyes don't seem to want to stay put. Maybe his eyes were too hard to cut. They might be too small. So we'll just press on those. See if we can get him to stay. Oh, I can't get him to stay. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think. So he's going to be a one-eyed. One-eyed Lionel Richie. That'll just have to do. Now, once we have all of the vinyl material removed from the outside of the sticker, then we want to transfer onto this contact paper. I'll cut a piece off. Like that. Then we'll pull the backing off the contact paper. Okay. Now we apply our contact paper to the sticker. Press everything down real good because we want to transfer we want to transfer the design onto this contact paper. We want it to leave we want it to leave its backing and, and stay on the contact paper so that we can transfer it to something else. And sometimes this works better than others. And we'll attempt to get this sticker off onto the contact paper. All right, well, that's worked really well. Boom, nice and easy. Easy breezy. Now what I want to do is I want to put this in a manner where the face still lights up, but it kind of hides the apple shape. That looks good. Press it down real good. Now we can pull off our contact paper and the sticker should stay behind. With any luck. You may need to get your tool in there. And help it. Okay. All right. Stick it down, make sure everything's <clears throat> stuck down. And now we have the moment of truth. Let's pop it open. It should light up and give us a glowing Lionel, the lights. There, 
Check him out. He's all lit up. See if you can see that. My one-eyed Lionel Richie. That's about all the time I have for this episode. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments about making vinyl stickers or anything you've seen here today, please leave them below. Thanks again for watching, and we, well, we'll see you next time. Whoa, what a feeling. Lionel Rich is on my laptop. <laughs>